everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone. So today I have Becky Lynn and Bobby Lee with me, and um, I'm going to be changing them into some really darling outfits that were um, gifted to me um, early last year by my um, very own shoe fairy, Jan Binkley. And um, the outfits are sort of like color coordinated and I thought that they would look really super cute for Valentine's Day. So anyway, I'm going to be meeting you over at the changing table in just a few seconds um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about their sculpts. See you there. Hi everyone. So I'm back with Becky Lynn and Bobby Lee. And um, like I said before, they were both sculpted by Sandy Faber and they were reborn by Emma Bennett. And uh, so the reason that I brought them on today was because my, uh, my dear friend Jan, uh, the shoe fairy, I like to call her, uh, she requested to see these two. And so um, I decided to bring them on today and to change them both into an outfit um, that uh, Jan had sent me um, earlier last year, and I just thought since Valentine's Day is coming up, I wanted to do that. And so this is the first outfit. Um, this outfit is going to be, uh, well, not going to be, Becky, Becky Lynn is going to be wearing this outfit, and it is darling. Um, it's made out of like a red uh, knitted fabric, and it uh, snaps down at the bottom. And it's got these precious little Valentine's Day hearts um, on the suspenders. And so that's what it looks like. And then I added this little, um, this little onesie, uh, this little long sleeve onesie to go underneath. I thought it looked really cute um, with a little ruffle around the, um, the edge. And then it's also got ruffles around the, um, the little sleeves here. Now, to sort of uh, match up with that, or to coordinate with that, I thought that Bobby Lee would look really, really cute in this. And um, this is an outfit that I think um, can be either girl or boy. And uh, since she sent both of these outfits, uh, I wanted to coordinate them today uh, in these outfits. These are both by Cat and Jack. And um, so this one is the same uh, type of um, sweater fabric. And it's got this um, cute little uh, ruffle around the, uh, the neckline. And uh, anyway, I just thought Bobby Lee would look really, really cute in that. And see, and the ruffle kind of coordinates along with the ruffle that's in um, Becky Lynn's outfit. So I'm going to change Bobby Lee first because it's not going to take me very long to do that. Um, since I don't have any um, accessories to go along with him. Uh, well, I can show you these. I, I guess these are, you could consider these accessories. Um, these darling little shoes. And uh, I thought they would look really cute with the outfit. And then I found these little, um, these cute little uh, teddy bear socks that are, I'm trying to get the, uh, get it in the camera there, that are, um, you know, red and white stripes. So. Um, I thought that those would look really cute with the outfit, too. So I'll put those aside right here for now. And then when I change um, Becky Lynn, I will show you the, uh, the accessories that go along with her outfit. Now for now, I'm going to go ahead and scoot Becky Lynn over here. And that way, um, you know, she can keep an eye on her brother while he's getting changed. So yeah, there she is and all of her, her cuteness. I'm going to try to keep her in the, the camera so that you can see her. Now these are not twins. Like I said, uh, you, know, um, you know, she's the Oakley sculpt <clears throat> and he's the Kinsley sculpt. So, um, so yeah, let's get started with this, uh, this little uh, job today. And I wanted to also let you know that both outfits that the, um, that the siblings are wearing um, were both gifted to us by Suzanne um, of Suzanne's Babies Nursery. So yeah, um, both of these sculpts have, uh, um, there are full vinyl sculpts with 
Uh, they are anatomically correct, uh, full vinyl sculpts that have cloth bodies underneath. And so um, that makes them um, kind of unique in the way of um, reborn dolls. There's not a lot of reborn dolls that are made that way. And um, I just thought that was really a neat um, a thing to have with these two. So I'm going to reach over here. This is the new, um, this is sort of like the same camera angle that I had in my very last video and it's kind of new for me. So um, I'm going to try the best I can to uh, not block the light and to stay out of the, the picture. Uh, out of the video, but let's scoot her over just a little bit more so we can lay this little guy down and get him changed. Let's scoot you over just a little bit more. There you go. Yeah. You can watch, you can watch brother get his Valentine's Day outfit on. And uh, what I can do is show you um, what he looks like um, you know, his body looks like he's super cute, you guys. Super, super cute. Yes, he is. Let's go ahead and sit him up. And I should have brought um, a onesie. I'm going to, uh, in just a minute here, I'm going to go get uh, a, a white onesie to put underneath his outfit. This um, this gray one I don't think is um, is very suitable for, for under the outfit. But this will give me an opportunity to show you. Um, you know, what he looks like underneath. He's got this darling curly hair that all it needs is a little spritzing once in a while and it um, brings the curl back. But there you go. There's his, um, there he, he's little Bobby Lee and all of his cuteness. There's his little belly button and um, his little chest and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and lay him down right here. I'll leave his socks on so he doesn't get super cold. <laughs> And um, I'm going to step over here and um, I'm going to see if I can find a, um, a white uh, onesie for this little guy to wear. Um, I should have thought of that before, but of course I did not. And, uh, you know, it's one of those, I'm doing one of those uh, uh, blooper type of things, you know. But uh, anyway, I think this one will work. Um, it's not a onesie, it's more a... Um, you know, it's a, it's a crossover um, t-shirt, and so I think that'll look really cute on him. So, and it's the first thing that I could grab in, in a hurry. <laughs> so, now his vinyl is really super soft, and um, as you can see, you know, his fingers, it's almost like silicone, but stronger than silicone. And um, I really like it. You know, I really, really do. Yes, I do. So, you guys, I have a story to tell you um, about our little uh, puppy friend, Jenny. <laughs> um, on Sunday night, uh, when I took her uh, out out um, front, just out the front door, you know, and we have a little yard area out front there, and um, I took her out for her last um, potty break. Now I'm sitting here going, oh, here's the other... I was looking for the other string to tie. Um, anyway, yeah, so I took her out and, um, you know, I opened the door and um, and it was raining, you know. So I let her, I was, I had her on her leash and so I kind of just let her out uh, and, you know, while I was holding on to the leash, I, um, I kind of stepped inside, you know, to get my umbrella because it was kind of raining hard out there, you know. And uh, lo and behold, while I was inside, Jenny decided that she uh, she found a a coon, not a not a coon. I'm sorry, a possum uh, down uh, down at the roadside um, in the gutter there, and uh, the coon was just nosing around and um, you know minding its own business. And Jenny decided that she wanted to go down there and have a fight with the possum. And uh, so yes, uh, she did. Uh, I had, like I said, I had the leash in my hand. It's one of those retractable leashes. Uh, I had the leash in my hand and um, she went all the way down uh, to where the, the possum was and um, 
you know, they fought. And I knew that, it, like, uh, all I could see was white when I looked down there, because um, it's kind of a, kind of a ways down the hill. And uh, because it wasn't, like, uh, meowing or crying out like a cat would, and it wasn't growling like a raccoon, um, and it was white, I just figured it, it, it was an opossum. Now, she's never... Um, you know, uh, we've never come across a possum before, so uh, this was a first, and um, anyway, I tried to get her to come back up, and, you know, and uh, I, the only thing that I could think of was to um, step back in the house and get a treat and kind of, um, um, you know, lure her that way, and uh, because... Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that she had slipped out of her collar. And so I no longer had any control over her, you know, where she went, what she did, whatever. And so that was kind of scary for me. So then I thought, well, I'm going to go in the house, get her um, a treat, and uh, see if I can lure her back. And it worked right away, you guys. She came right back, and... Uh, you know, then I slipped the collar back around her um, her neck, and all was well. She didn't get hurt. Um, I looked down um, to see if the possum was still there, and I didn't see him either. So um, I, I don't know what became of him. But um, anyway, uh, like I was telling my, my husband, you know, I just never know what's going to happen when I walk out the front door with Ginny <laughs> because you know she has a she has a much stronger um, um, sense of smell than I do of course uh, much you know much bigger better sight than I do she sees things way before I do and um, and hears things way before I do and that's a plus for me I, I like that she can do that you know but um, uh, on the other hand, it's not a plus whenever she sees things first before me, and she decides to run and chase after it. So, um, but yeah, it was uh, one of those scary moments once again with her. And oh, by the way, here's another oh, by the way. Uh, like I said, it was raining, and uh, so when she came back in, um, you know, uh, before I could grab, you know, like, grab the leash, uh, bring the leash in, uh, she had pranced all over the carpet, you guys, with muddy, muddy, muddy feet. Now, um, and we have like a light uh, beige, like a beige color carpet. <laughs> so if you could imagine lots of little uh, big Ginny footprints all over the carpet. Um, so, uh, it would normally what I do when I come in from um, bringing her outside, like from a walk or something like that, I always, I have a towel by the door uh, that's on a shelf um, near the door, and I always uh, have her sit, and I wipe all of her feet down, and, you know, uh, that works out really good for the carpet, but this time it was just too much, and uh, she kind of, she was just too um, excited, I guess is what we can say. And uh, so she got mud all over the carpet. Um, so yeah, and I'm just going to interrupt for just a minute to show you what a darling little guy this this one is. Look at this little baby boy and his little white. Um, I think Suzanne calls these brogues. You know, they have that sort of um, detail um, on the on the front there. But um, what do you think? Doesn't he look adorable? Jan, I know you'll be watching, and um, here, she, here he is in all of his cuteness, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set him over here so that uh, I'm going to switch pl places with these two. I'm going to try to stay out of the, the camera, and uh, the reason that I have my camera uh, set up this way today is because I have both no, see, this is this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. Yeah, they both want to fall over. There we go. All right. I think we've I think we've got her. Um, but yeah, I have a I have the camera set up this way again today, and the reason is um, is because you know I have two of them with me, and I needed the whole changing table. Um, 
but normally I have the camera set up on the other side so that um, I'm not in the, the way of the camera lens all the time. And I hope that I'm not in the way too much um, this time around. I'll, I'll find out later when I review the video. But anyway, so this is, um, so like I said, this is the outfit that Auntie Shoe Fairy Jan sent us. And um, I thought that she would look super cute with these um, little patent leather shoes that I've had for years and years. Aren't those ador adorable? And then um, since it's got um, this sort of uh, uh, eyelet lace around the, the neckline and the sleeves, I thought that these eyelet lace socks would go really nicely. So, yeah. And then last but not least, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put this headband on her, but the headband, I'm, what I'm going to do is clip a bow. This is a clippy bow, and I'm going to clip a bow on the headband. And I thought that would look really cute, too. You know, just have it kind of like that. So, um, anyway, that is her accessories. So, let's get started on this little one. And uh, so the, um, the story, the, the ending of the story is this. Um, uh, yesterday morning, um, actually it was last night, uh, or no, when was it? No, it was yes yesterday morning I, I asked my hubby if he could, you know, uh, carpet clean the, the carpet um, because of the muddy footprints. And he was, he was more than willing to do that. It was just really a mess, you guys. And, uh, um, so yeah, and he so he got the carpet cleaner out. We keep it there in his office because um, you know we used to uh, when we had Frankie, our turkey, um, living in the house there. He you know he was quite messy, and so we carpet cleaned probably uh, at least once a month, if not sooner. Um, so yeah. Uh, but now we don't have um, we don't have any messes at all because uh, you know Jenny is um, you know completely housebroken. We, she came to us completely, <clears throat> excuse me, housebroken and lucky us, right? <laughs> because housebreaking a dog is um, can be difficult at times, especially um, uh, you know as a puppy. But um, but yeah, so he cleaned the. He cleaned the carpet and it looks gorgeous. It just looks like brand new carpet again. And I always love it when he gets done cleaning. But um, yeah, she she has the same um, uh, vinyl um, tummy as this little guy. In fact, I'll show you. I mean, this is such a cute, cute sculpt for, you know, in, in both of them. See? You know, she's got she's got her little chest, her little belly button. And um, you just can't get any cuter. <laughs> I always say that, don't I? I, I love all my baby dolls because, um, you know, for all of their cuteness. And uh, yeah, they've got the this vinyl. Her vinyl is also very, very soft, and um, they've got, both got blue eyes. Hers are like hers are a different color of blue than his. His are more like a lighter uh, blue, and uh, hers are more of a darker blue. So, um, yeah, I think, but I think that they look, uh, really a lot like siblings. So I'm going to go ahead and put this onesie on her. I thought it would be really neat to put the long sleeve on her since it's, we're still having super cold weather. Uh, let's see, I woke up today and it was 24 degrees outside and, um, when I actually had to take um, Jenny out for her first walk, it was still below freezing, below 32, and so everything was frozen. You know, the grass, the grass was frozen. But you know, fortunately, I'll, I'll tell you what: when everything is frozen like that, um, that means that the mud is also frozen, and you know, the rain causes um, the mud and uh, when the mud is frozen too it's a much cleaner walk a much nicer walk for us and so I was really grateful that um, you know that we didn't have to slush around uh, in, in mud today 
but it's uh, it's supposed to be, uh, get to be 44 degrees um, today Fahrenheit. And so that's going, of course, you know, by now, um, this is kind of like early afternoon. By now, everything that froze is all thawed out. So um, we'll probably have a muddy walk um, this afternoon with our uh, dear sweet Jenny. <laughs> so let's turn her over. She's got um, several snaps back here. This is a really uh, easy onesie to put on because it snaps the whole thing totally unsnaps and uh, this looks like a onesie that um, Suzanne sent me um, from the UK um, I, you know we don't we don't have onesies here and the only onesies that I have are um, you know that have this sort of like style are from the UK and uh, so I'm, I'm sure that Suzanne sent them you know so let's put this on. I already have the um, I have the straps all pinned up because, of course, the straps are always too long on baby clothes, always, always. And uh, this one also has snaps in the um, the the diaper area, but I don't need to undo the snaps because it's stretchy and it's going to go up really, really nicely. Yes, it is. So this is really fun. I don't think that I've uh, twinned them before in, in these particular outfits, you know. And uh, I just thought that he would look really cute in it. And I and I really do. I, I love him in this outfit. So from now on, um, you know, when it gets close to Valentine's Day, um, I am going to put these two in these outfits because I just think they're adorable. Yeah, they sure are kind of loosey-goosey back here. Um, looks like I need probably one more pen to cinch it up a little bit. I have my, my handy dandy pens over here in my drawer. And then I'll go ahead and I'm just gonna, since you can't see the back, I'm just gonna go ahead and pin it um, on the outside. And it's, it's, you know, it works out really good. It's stretchy fabric. Like I said, it's like made out of um, like sweater material. So it pins really nicely. It lays really nicely and uh, super cute outfit. Super, super cute. There's her little cute little legs. Let's see, where are her shoes? Here's her shoes, her shoes and socks. So yeah, this has been a fun video. Um, I don't change to two babies usually um, in my videos because uh, usually it takes too long. But uh, today I knew that Bobby Lee, um, you know, being a boy, he just, you know, he had one little outfit to put on and um, that was about it, you know. So yeah, look at these cute shoes on her. These are uh, patent leather shoes. Yes, they are. They're just adorable on her. They're Mary Jane's. Yep. They are Mary Jane styled shoes. So yeah, it looks like we've got both of these little little siblings all changed up and look at that. Isn't she adorable? Isn't she adorable in that outfit? I'm gonna bring Bobby Lee back over. Come here, you. Come here, little guy. There they are. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can... Um, the, these two are um, heavy is why they're... You know, because they're vinyl plus they're, um, you know, weighted nicely. So they're both heavy and they're both wanting to fall over. And so I'm going to bring my Suzy Q pillow behind them. And I think that's going to work out really nice for them to be sort of propped up against that. So what do you think, you guys? Do you like my two little siblings all dressed up in their cute little outfits? Hi, you guys. Um, I know that a lot of you probably noticed that I forgot her headband that had the little bow on it. And so there it is. And I wanted to just give you um, a little video of 
you know, how her final look looks. And, um, and here's both babies looking super adorable for Valentine's Day. And thank you, Jan, again for the outfits. Um, I love them. And uh, both, both um, uh, Bobby Lee and little Becky Lynn um, look adorable in the outfits. So uh, anyway, everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Um, it's been fun visiting with you. I hope that you have a wonderful day and a uh, great rest of your week. And until we meet again, bye-bye from me, Bobby Lee, and Becky Lynn. Bye-bye.